Hey everybody, so now we are here again <coughs> and we are actually going to do practical 2013. This one was quite unique in that year because basically it was a practical about waves. We will fill the tray with water, then after that we will lift the tray up a little bit and then we will let it go. Then when the tray falls like this, then the water would gather to one side. Because of this then it would flow to the other side, bounce over and then it would just keep bouncing like this. So, one cycle would be when it goes whoop whoop. Okay, so we are actually going to time it um, how long it will take to make three cycles. Okay, so it will go one, two, three, and then we will stop the time. Okay, and then after that, we will repeat it a few times, and then we get the average, and then we will increase the depth. When the depth increases, then the timings should change. Okay, then after that, we get the speed from a calculation then the root d okay all right let's give it a go okay so what we have here is the a jug of water okay yeah and this is the tray okay so what we're going to do right is to actually pour the water into the tray quite a lot of it actually um and then we're going to measure 10 mm of depth the lowest depth all right with um, this thing over here. This thing over here, right, is a, um, it's a wooden stick that is actually um, notched at about, at, a, at almost exactly one cm, okay, one cm per mark. You can see over there, all right? Okay, so we're gonna use this, and that's how we're gonna measure the depth of our water. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna pour it in. All right, pour in, pour in, pour in. All right, so how's it going? A little bit more, maybe? Yeah, okay, so now you can see over here that the water level has reached the notch over there. Okay, the first notch, and that is the 10 mm notch. Okay? And so, how are we going to measure the waves? What we're going to do is to lift the tray up a little bit and then swing it down like this and then we can see the waves move. Okay, let's do the first one. Alright, uh, lift it up and then I will let go. One, two and three. Alright, the first timing I got is 377. So we're going to write it down. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. Okay. Now I'm going to measure it from this perspective. Okay. Yeah, from the side's perspective. Let's see whether it makes a difference. Okay. Give me a second. Alright, let's take a look at that one. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Alright. Something like this, okay. Then once we lift it up, uh, we lift it up like this, then we let it go. One, two, and three. Alright, and I got 375 from that. Alright. Okay, then I'm gonna write it down again. Yeah. 3.75. Okay? Yeah, so I'm just going to repeat that. Um, there's a third time, but we won't be doing that today, okay? So what we will be doing is just changing the water level, and we'll do the second one, and we're going to show you what's the difference, okay? So, you guys, the second notch over here would be 20 cm, okay? So, we're going to do that, 20 cm. All right, so we're going to put it in here. We're going to pour it in again. Oh, not enough water, okay. Just going to fill it up. Alright, that should be enough. Okay. So, over here, gonna put it in, pour it in over there. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so if we take a look now, you can see that it's now on the second notch. Alright. Alright. So, 
So right now, I guess we're gonna do it again. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're gonna lift it up and do some timings. All right. So the average previously was about three seventy six ish. Okay. So let's do this. And one, two, and three. And you can see that it's a significant dip. Even accounting for human error, I got 281. That is definitely a much shorter time. Okay, let's do it again just for fun. Lift it up and... Let go. One, two, and three. I got 285. So we're gonna record that now. Okay. Yeah, and therefore you can actually sort of estimate a little bit. You can see that it should keep dropping. If the depth increases, the timing should keep dropping. Then after we get the average, then the speed, then the root distance, and then we'll do our calculations. Okay? And yeah, and that was it for Radical 2013. Thank you all very much.